Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video, you're going to learn how to start selling digital downloads on your Shopify store. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have the right tools so that you can start selling things such as your eBooks, perhaps presets, LUTs, wallpapers, or any kind of digital product. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first, I know this may sound obvious, but if you do not have a Shopify account yet, look in the description box below where you can sign up for a free trial of Shopify, as you can see. Once you've logged in to your Shopify account, the first thing we're going to do is add a plugin that will enable us to start selling digital downloads. On the left side, you'll see apps and then you'll see add apps. Click that once. You won't find it right here, but if you go here where it says find more apps in the Shopify app store, that'll take you to Shopify's app store where you can start searching. In this case, we're gonna search for digital downloads. You're going to get an overwhelming amount of plugins, most are third-party apps, and there is one specific one that we'll actually be using, and that's directly from Shopify. So the one we do want to install is called Digital Downloads. But before we get to that, I do want to show you a couple of other options in case you're requiring more features and perhaps more flexibility in terms of the types of digital products you're wanting to sell and the customization options. The first is EDP, or in other words, Easy Digital Downloads. Now, this is a third-party app, but if you look down, they do have a free plan where you're able to sell three digital downloads or digital products, but there's 100 megabyte storage. Whereas if you're looking for more features, look into their pro plan, which starts from $9.99 per month. Essentially, you're going to get more features than Shopify's digital downloads app, as you can see right here. There's another one called Digital Downloads by FileMonk. And if you look down, they do have a free plan However, you do get only 30 orders per month, which can be limiting. But if you're just starting out, this may be just enough. And here's another one called Skypilot. There is a 14 day trial if you are going to go on a, one of the paid plans. However, they do have a free plan, which again is limited to 100 megabytes file storage and you've got bandwidth limitation. However, there's unlimited products that you can host and also unlimited orders too. But let's go back to the results and click on digital downloads. Once there, you'll see this where you can click on install. I'll go ahead and install the app. It'll redirect you here where you need to allow permissions for access to your personal data. Also edit the stored data. So we're gonna go ahead install. All right, next what you're going to do is make sure you have your product set up. So head to products, click on add product. I'm just going to edit my existing one called amazing <laughs> wallpaper pack. Add all your details as you normally would. Now there's an important part here. Scrolling down, you'll see the shipping area where it says this is a physical product. You have to make sure you uncheck this, otherwise it won't work. And while you're on here, under inventory, you don't really need to track the quantity and all of these other details since it's all just digital downloads. Now, once you've saved your product, all you need to do is head to more actions and click on add digital file because it's nowhere else on this page or the fields that you see. But this is the addition that you'll see once you've added that digital downloads plugin. Another way to reach the digital downloads area is to head under apps and you'll see the app now, digital downloads, and you simply click on the product that you're wanting to add the files. And all you really need to do now is drag and drop any of the files based on your product right here, or you can click on add files. There is a file size limit, but that's quite a large amount of five gigabytes. Once uploaded, you'll see right here, the uploaded files. There are a couple of options on this page. If you go under fulfillment, you'll see here fulfillment type. Do you want to automatically send the files or do you want to manually send the files? Kind of defeats the purpose. So what you want to do is click on automatically send files. Then you've got the ability to limit the number of downloads per customer. If you want to set a limit, let's say three times only, then uncheck it, then change it to three. So this means your customer can only go back and download your product three times, but we'll allow the customer to download unlimited times. Also on this page, what you can do is manually get the download link in case you need to manually send it to your customer. Let's say they lose access or you need a handy way to send a link to your customers, then you can simply go to more actions, click on create download link. This will create a unique uh, download link like so and click on copy link. Additionally, this app allows you to manage your orders right here where it will show. 
Going to settings will give you the ability to customize your download template. This section specifically is for the email templates and that's what they will see. You'll see if you click on edit template, you've got some placeholders. It'll replace it with your customer's first name, last name, the attachment. You can of course customize this email to say something further. And there's also an option to edit the template for any updates. So let's say you update your digital download, it'll notify them of that download update. And you've got checkout. Do you want to enable the ability for your customers to download your digital download straight on the checkout page? That's what this is for. And once you're ready to sell your digital download, you just promote your page as you normally would and allow your customers to simply check out. And once they've checked out, they'll receive their digital download instantly. And that's how you can enable digital downloads on your Shopify store. If this video helped, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next trading with you. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.